Hello, everybody. This is Kelly Stamps. I have a Florida man story time for you today. Yes, we're bringing this series back. We are. We are on volume three. Okay, today's story is of Mr. Kinky Curly. Kinky Curly. Before I begin, I would like to state three facts. Three facts about life, but just dating in South Florida, okay? Fact number one, please get out your pens and pencils or type this down, whatever you have to do, write this down, please. Okay, students, don't play with me. Fact number one, write this down. The badder the eyesight, the badder the woman. I don't make the rules, just write that down. The badder the eyesight, the badder the woman, okay? Fact number two, South Florida men are wealthy, irritating, and love when they see a woman in glasses. Fact number three, when you're in South Florida, if you are slim and brown or just brownish, you know, you got something going on, you are in danger. You will be fighting for your life when you go outside. It is what it is, okay? I don't, I, I don't, guys, I don't make the rules. This will come in later in the story time. But in conclusion, when I go outside as a slim brown woman with terrible eyesight, I have really big glasses that I wear usually. These are very thick contact lenses that you guys always see me in. When I go outside, I'm fighting for my life. I really am. Sidebar, recent development, I have a boyfriend. You're like, wait, you said you stopped dating, how do you have a boyfriend? Listen, I have a monopoly on the Miami dating market, right? Because I am slim, I am brown, I draw attention to myself. When I wear white, people stare at me. I'm beautiful, okay, I'm smart, but here's the thing. I actually have my head on straight and it is so hard. Guys, I'm tooting my own horn. I don't care if you guys, if some of you ladies are like, oh Kelly, you're being a pick me. Yeah, pick me, pick me, pick me, choose me. I do, I do wanna be picked by a very handsome, successful man who's equal or more successful than me. I do, I want him to be from New York. And guess what? I got one. I got a man before he even got an apartment. That is a true story. I, I have a Mr. Kelly stamp. So this man, I have him in my phone as demonic dude. That's his contact. He earned that name very quickly because he was actually possessed by something. Like, I don't know what would possess this man to talk to me this way, but demonic dude, like a lot of people today, I say people because it's not just men, it's women too. They want, you know, a God fearing, they want a wholesome, they want a sweet gal or guy. When in reality, they wouldn't know what to do with one. A lot of these men say stuff like, oh, I want a submissive girl who's gonna listen and stuff. And I wanna, you know, I'm, they're like, oh, I'm the, the head of household. Therefore, they think it means I can walk all over the woman. And I'm like, no, that's not what it means to have a submissive wife, like submissive, you have to earn that submission, right? But the point is like, people have it so twisted, I think on social media, but also I'm coming from like a biblical standpoint. They don't know what it means to really have a healthy dynamic because they think it means I have money, I have more than you, so I'm gonna hold it over your head. Like, no, it's, it's, it's really backwards. So anyway, but he said the weirdest thing before we met, and this was when I should have turned around and driven home. We just met for coffee, it was very brief. But anyway, he said, I travel a lot and it would be cool to be with a girl who doesn't have like a huge family to go home for for Christmas or anything. So it, it kind of just went past me. I was like, oh, okay, I get that. Like you wanna spend holidays together because he doesn't have a big family or maybe, I don't know. So we ended up meeting and he let me know within two seconds that he's very successful, of course. He has this nice car and everything. He has this like watch. It's like a, it's a Patek, Patek, whatever it's called. I don't know. He's very flashy, 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 but he actually is Googleable. Like he's very wealthy, dude. <sighs> Money can't buy class. Whatever. The date was actually fine, but there were just so many little weird red flags. And number one, which I can't stand, he said, I don't know what accent this is, guys, by the way. He's supposed to, it's supposed to be Eastern European, but I just can't do the accent. He's like, I just keep, me I keep meeting these girls and they have so much drama. And I thought he meant like typical Miami, like, oh, like maybe they're still talking to their ex or maybe they're, I don't know, having drama with their family or friends or their drama. I was like, yeah, I, I get that. I thought he meant like genuinely they are the drama. At this point in my life, clearly at my old age, I understand that if somebody says, oh, I don't like drama, 
You are the drama. Nothing could have prepared me for what he said next, nothing. So admittedly, we had really good chemistry up until this point, everything's fine. We're just talking and he's asking me like, what are you doing next month? I'm like, next month? I don't even know, like, I don't know. He goes, well, I wanna go to my house in, where is it? Somewhere in the, the French, somewhere in the, where was it? Oh, let's just say the Alps. I believe it was the Alps, but he goes, I wanna go to my man, my condo in the Alps, my home in the Alps. He just has to mention every five seconds, his home in there, his home there, his home in, in the south of France, his home there. And I'm just sitting here like, I just wanted an AMC Stubbs gift card. Whatever, he's just, he's throwing all this stuff out here. He only flies private or he does like flat bed seats everywhere. I don't know, it was weird. It was just textbook love bombing. And I'm like, ooh, sounds cool. And he can't even tell them being sarcastic. And I am just picking up these yellow and red flags. Like, okay, <clears throat> making future plans. You're the perfect woman. I think I'm in love with you. Like, shut up, you're not in love with me. The, the last one, this is the one that was really weird. Christmas, what are you doing on Christmas? And I said, I don't know. I usually don't do much. I just stay home and chill. And he goes, oh, are you kidding me? That's music to my ears, babe. Ew, I hate when someone calls me babe. Like I hate the word babe so much. It's disgusting. Like call me anything. Call me sweet potato. Call me pancake. Call me squirrel. Like I don't care. I just, when someone who you don't know, I mean, calls you baby. Like you're, just, again, red. So how many do we have over here now? There's a lot, I'm holding a lot of flags here. Baby pet names, you just met me. I'm in love with you. Oh, I can live without you. He's just, he's just so annoying. He's just a wealthy, irritating man. That's why he's single. So anyway, this is when it got weird again. He said, I'm so happy to hear that because most girls go home to their big families. And I said, well, yeah, that's what you do when you have family. So I'm driving home and I barely get in my car. I barely put the seatbelt on. Do, 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 do. He's calling and I press like accept call and it's him being like, hey baby, I just, <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey baby, I'm so sorry. I just, I can't go a second without thinking of you. Hello. I'm currently editing this horrific story time that you're watching and there's a clip that's missing. So let me plug this in here. After that part, we were talking on the phone and he's just talking more about himself, his needs, he lists his needs, the things that I need to do apparently, cause I'm an elite employee, all these things I need to do for him. And I just got so tired of him talking about himself. So I decided to just add something about myself. I said, well, just so you know, I really like jazz music. I like jazz, maybe we can go listen to jazz sometime. And my favorite flower would be probably hydrangeas. That's all, that's all I said. And this is what he said after that. Good to know, already putting the vans. Are you ready for the worst part of the story? Stampede, are you ready for the climax, okay? So this tumultuous relationship has come to a head. This is, this is the fighting moment here. This is the climax, okay? So I'm sound asleep. That's me sleeping. Okay, I get a thing. Like what? By the way, I don't let my phone go off, but you know what happened? Before I went to bed, I got a demand. Again, I got a demand from him, but I can't just say that I like the flower hydrangea. I got a demand to remove my DND &D mode. Do not disturb mode. My phone is always on the little moon, do not disturb mode. Why? I don't want to be disturbed. There's no reason. It's just sometimes with my friends and I, we're talking, we send like 50 voice notes back and forth. And if I'm focusing on the video, I don't want to hear the thing because I'm going to look and I'm going to be distracted. I don't give explanations to people. Someone's like, Kelly, why'd you move to Miami? Because I want it to. Because I have privilege. Because I have money. I don't have a nine to five. I don't have to be anywhere. Like, oh, but Kelly, why don't you wear your natural hair? Because I like my hair like this. I like my bangs. Like guys, don't give people explanations. Seriously. So anyway, this man, is demanding that I explain why I have DND mode. I said, cause it's on. He's like, so turn it off. I'm like, no, taking it off. If I leave it on, that means I don't like him, whatever. So I ended up going to bed. I'm like, you know what? Just take it off for one night. Cause usually I don't get any text messages. Like no one texts me throughout the night. Anyway, so I go to bed. He's like acquiesce to his demand. I go to bed, you know, this is already really toxic by the way. This is how they are in Miami FII. Like, rich men are toxic, obviously. Ding! I'm like, oh my God. go back to bed, I go 
back to bed, right? So here's the problem. On WhatsApp, I forgot, because I was not thinking at 7 a.m. When you open up WhatsApp and you look at a text, it will turn blue. Blue means that the person read your text, okay? This is unacceptable to him. And this was honestly a mistake. Like I did not mean to make it look like I read it and didn't respond, but I just, I woke up at 621. I don't know if you forgot because of the time difference, because at the time I went back to Dallas because I was like, oh, let me go there. I was looking around at places to live. So I wasn't really even committed to Miami yet, but I was in Dallas. So maybe because it's like 730 here, I don't know. He's just a menace. This man's a menace. There, There is no like system in his head of versus white and wrong. He's right, everybody else is wrong. So I wake up to a bunch of angry text messages and phone calls from him. All because I didn't respond to his text at 7.21 in the morning. This is crazy. It has not even been 24 hours yet, guys. This is a multi-millionaire CEO in Miami who, again, was weirdly compatible with me in many other ways and I just, I couldn't handle it. So I'm like, time to cuss him out. All right, it's eight o'clock in the morning. I call him. Hello, like an inconvenience. He's so mad that I'm not bothered. He's like, hello? I said, yes, what? <sighs> wow. I don't know what's gotten into you lately, but this is, this is not good. I go, okay, so what do you want? I, I texted you and you didn't respond. I was sleeping. But you, you opened the text. I literally opened it, I went to golf. I came back home, here we are. So what do you want now? I'm talking to him like he's been talking to me. These guys don't like when you give them a taste of their own medicine. I'm just like, okay, so what, so what, what now? What? You hear him on the other side of the phone. He's like freaking out cause I'm just not bothered by this at all. I'm like, so what's the deal? What do you, he goes, I don't know why you're acting like this all of a sudden. Like, I thought you were my baby. I don't understand. We're going to go to France. We're going to Chamonix. We're going to go to Sydney, Australia, like Singapore, like Paris. I don't know why. I was going to give you everything. And I don't know what's I didn't need to you. He's so hurt because I'm just like, what do you want? Like, what? So I said, what is your complaint? What is your complaint right now? What are you mad about? I don't know. I'm like, you don't know. So why don't you chill? Call me back when you're not angry. And this is why you're single. I'm sorry, you are the drama friend. Oh, Kinky Curly, duh, how could I forget this part? Right before all of this, the night before, before he fought with me over the do not disturb mode thing, he tells me, when we go to Paris and we go to Black Ties events at the galas, I want you to have big, kinky, curly hair. I said, I'm sorry, my hair is fine. It doesn't do that. I know. I said we get you big kinky curly hair. Bundles. He's never probably encountered a woman who genuinely didn't need his money. He didn't, right? It was, it was shocking. It was crazy. I blocked him. I blocked him with ease because you're not going to stress me out on my thousand dollar iPhone. Okay, you're not. I love to block people. It's so easy. You just bloop, block, done. What do you know about bundles, sir? What? I'm like, who, who is it? What did I say? Irritating wealthy men love slim black women. He has either dated a black woman or he's done his research on YouTube. He's been watching these wig reviews and stuff. I don't know what, but it made me laugh so hard because amidst all this drama in our 24 hour long relationship, he somehow told me that I need, that we, no, he, we, he said, we need to get you kinky curly bundles. So that is my story from Mr. Kinky Curly. Thank God I did not put up with that because I do not, I do not. I don't put up with bad behavior. No, thank you. I will entertain it for a short time just for funsies, just to like laugh and watch them like hang themselves basically in an argument, but that's it. Guys, stay blessed, stay safe, block people. Don't go on a dating app in Florida, although that is how I met Mr. Kelly Sampson. I'm very happy and very grateful for that, but it was like a needle in a haystack. It truly was. Class, cla oh! class is adjourned. Bundles.